Hi, I'm Leon, and people know me as the Kindness Guy. I'm here today to talk to you about something. Open up your heart and magic will happen. And kindness is truly one of the most beautiful things that you can give another human being. Thank you to Leon Logathita. True wealth is not in your wallet. It's in your heart. Back in the day, Liam was a broker in London. On the outside, he had everything one could ever ask for. Money, cars, and a party lifestyle. But on the inside, he always felt empty and alone. But no one knew, right? Because I was wearing a mask. And the mask was, hey, everything's all right. But it wasn't. His life changed on October 7th, 2004, after watching a film called The Motorcycle Diaries. Which is a romanticized version of Che Guevara traveling around South America. And something happened to me in that moment. It was like everything started to click. I realized that I didn't have to live behind my desk for the rest of my life. So it inspired me, and also my pain, to be honest, inspired me to quit my job and uh, start traveling around the world relying on kindness. Two months later, he flew to New York City and you will not believe some of the trips he's taken. So, I've done quite a few crazy things. I took a 30-year-old English taxi and drove it from New York to LA giving free cab rides to people. I drove from London to Mongolia, which was an interesting adventure. In fact, I did it twice, because once I nearly died in a car crash in Romania, which wasn't very fun. I have taken a motorbike from LA all the way around Earth, back to LA, relying on kindness. How'd you do that through the ocean? Uh, I got a free container ship, which sounds easier than it was, but it wasn't that easy to do. I have also driven a 50-year-old yellow beetle from Alaska to Argentina. Now, how long did it take you? Three and a half months. Three and a half months he was in this lovely convertible. <laughs> and the foot pedals even have foots. <laughs> Let's get a shot of that. That was an interesting adventure. I hitchhiked. <laughs> I hitchhiked from Paris, the Eiffel Tower, to Red Square in Moscow on five euros a day. You know, $5 a day is, is not a lot, as we all know. Uh, so really, I didn't really use much of it. In fact, most of the days I didn't use any of it. People would put me up for the night, people would give me food, people would, you know, buy me train tickets. I couldn't accept money. It was really just an exchange of love. It was an exchange of kindness. It was like a heart-centered adventure. Along his travels, Leon discovered that we all have so much more in common and there was one thing that was persistently present, kindness. He has documented his experiences through his best-selling book called Go Be Kind and through his popular Netflix show called The Kindness Diaries. So The Kindness Diaries is basically the story of one man, me, who travels around the world relying entirely on the kindness of strangers. He has no food, no gas, no place to stay, nothing. He can't accept money. All he can accept is the kindness of another human being. But there's a bit of a twist. And the twist is that unsuspecting Good Samaritans receive a life-changing gift. So if you're kind to me, I give something back. Um, for example? So for example, I ended up uh, sleeping on the streets of Pittsburgh. I started chatting with this guy, I said to him, Can I live in your house tonight? Unfortunately, I don't have a house, I'm homeless right now. About to walk off, but he then turns around and says, Well, you know what, if you want, you can stay with me tonight. I'll feed you, I'll protect you, I'll give you some clothes. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up sleeping on the streets of Pittsburgh with a homeless guy. And it changed my life because he taught me that kindness is free. If he can be kind, then why can't we? Me and the crew ended up putting him up in an apartment and sending him back to school. He always wanted to be a chef. First of all, we want to put you up in a house. Okay. We want to enroll you in some kind of certificate program where you can get a degree and make your way again in life. He made me realize that the, the amount of compassion and empathy that we show other people is a choice. It's a choice. We get to choose how we show up. And he always says to me, I still talk to him, he's like, Leon, you changed my life. And I say the same thing to him. I said, no, Tony, you changed my life. A lot of people are gonna say, wow, you're nuts, that's so dangerous. 
How many situations have you been in where you really thought you were going to die or really scary situations? Do, do you know, people often say to me, Leon, you, you're clearly a nut job. Aren't you scared for your life when you do these adventures? And the truth is I'm not because I go with my intuition. And if my intuition says, Leon, don't walk down that road. I won't walk down that road. If the intuition says, hmm, it's okay to go down here, I'll go down there. So I always follow my intuition. And so far, to date, it's kept me safe. Now that doesn't mean that your intuition can keep you safe from a terrorist attack or something like that. It can't, to a certain degree. But my intuition has kept me alive. What do you think about his crazy lifestyle? I don't think it's crazy. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. So you support him if he wants to walk to Chile right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I asked him, do you want me to come with you? It might be harder if I do, but why not? I've met a handful of inspiring travelers around the world, but Leon is different. I could really connect with him because his mission greatly aligns with mine. I've always said that 99.9% .9 of humans all around the world are good, kind, and hospitable people, and Leon is just more proof that this is true. Leon, what is one message that you want to say to the world? If there was one message I would like to tell the world, it is that we are all the same. Doesn't matter what color you are, doesn't matter what religion you are, doesn't matter how much money you have, how little money you have, how cool you are, how cool you think you're not. We're all the same. We just want to be seen. We want to be loved. We want to be heard. And traveling the world makes that so obvious. And when you watch the news and people tell you that we're different, they're lying to you. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.